Hi, welcome back to Peer Tech Talk and to quick tip number nine, which I call duplicate project. If you open the project and then you right click on it and you hit copy, go down to some white space here and you just paste. You see immediately that uh, my original project was called project one and you see my uh, workspace here on the file handler and the file uh, my, my, my project one is there but you see it uh, automatically uh, suggest project two and use the default location so we just agree with that and say okay so it will copy the project to project two which we can see here in our project explorer and we can also see it in our in our file explorer that we now also have a project too now it would be easy to think that we can use that project but unfortunately you can't but it's not that hard the next step is that you close the first project and we just close the project so you have one project open this is a crucial step so don't forget that the next thing that you need to do is press ctrl h and this is a global search feature and you're looking for the, the uh, containing text for the project name and that is the project one. So that is the project one up here and you will then hit replace. And it then finds uh, the project one is uh, uh, on 24 places in five files in your total project and you can't reference to project one any longer, you need to reference to project two. So the easy thing is just to replace everything with project one with project two. So we just click OK. So now is the second step and then we see the IOC file. It's still called project one IOC, but that is no problem there either. We just rename it to, this, to the correct name. And now you're done, now you have a clone on your project one and they are totally different to each other and you can do whatever you want with that. If you found a tip uh, helpful, uh, please give it a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber, please consider to do so, it's highly appreciated. See you soon in the next video, bye!